Hello, everyone. Thank you for stopping by this great episode of Secrets, Laws of Attraction. And why do I say that it's great? Because you're going to learn so much in this episode that things are going to be changing for you. Life changing. That's right. But first of all, I want to say thank you to Psychic Secrets for giving us this platform. If it weren't for them, oh, I couldn't come to you today in this way. And I want to thank you for allowing me to be with you. So you're broke, right? You don't have any money. You can't go anywhere. You can't do anything. Can't go out to eat. Can't go to the movies. You might not be able to buy gas or maybe even not groceries. Things are tight. Your living conditions aren't so great. And your job really stinks. They've cut your hours. They've cut your pay. And now what do you do? Well, when you can implement these things that I'm going to tell you, it's not going to be long that you're broke. So let's get started. The first and foremost thing that I want to let you know is stop saying that you're broke. You are claiming it. That is yours. In the laws of attraction, The universe and the cosmic unknown do not know the difference between the positive and the negative. They just base it on your feelings. It's not so much based on your words, but your words come from your feelings. So if you're happy and thankful, it reflects into your voice and it reflects into your vibration and your frequency. But if you're down and you're hurting and you're just so sorrowful it also reflects in the vibration and in the frequency that you are sending out you have to get on that higher frequency that's right it is a higher frequency when you are happy and things are going great and you have money and all of those good things. You're in love, things are going fantastic. Everything is going in your way. It's that feeling. And if I'm saying this and you're feeling that right along with me, you know the difference between getting up in the morning and dread and getting up in the morning and being thankful. You're really going to have to do a little job on yourself. And I mean, you're going to have to really psych yourself out. Getting up in the morning and instead of saying, oh gosh, I don't even want to get out of bed. I just want to pull the covers over my head. I just don't, I can't, I don't have the strength to get up. I'm just so weary. I'm just so broke. I'm just so out of love. Now, first of all, I want to take a little sidestep. Any time that you're out and about and you ask someone how they are, and it could be a complete stranger, if they say to you, I'm great, I'm having a great day, well, that resonates with you. You're happy to hear that. On the inside, it's good. But if someone looks at you and says, I'm so broke right now, I just, I don't have any money, I can't go anywhere, what is it that you do? It makes you so uncomfortable. It makes your whole body, your frequency, your vibration so uncomfortable that sometimes you just can't hurry to get away from them fast enough. I get it. We've all been there. So that is the vibration that they are emitting. And when you are convincing yourself that you're constantly broke, you're doing the same. So you have to change this idea of you saying, I'm so broke. I'm so broke. You have to stop looking at your bank account. You have to stop telling everyone that you are so broke because people will leave your side when you are broke. And I'm sorry, that's human nature. People will magnetize to you when you are affluent and you have money. That's human nature. But it it all, it, it all, I can't even talk. <laughs> Did you get that? It is also 
a vibrational thing. It is also a frequency thing. So when you act as though you already have it, people will come near you. People will come close to you. The first and foremost thing is stop saying that you're broke. Okay, so you don't have the money right now. You're not telling the universe how you expect it to be. And when you say that you're broke, that's exactly what you're doing. You're telling the laws of attraction to keep you broke. I'm broke. And the laws of attraction, the universe, they look at you and say, your wish is my command. Not only will you be broke today, but we're going to put this in your subconscious and you'll be broke tomorrow too. And maybe even by the end of the week. So by changing your vibration and planting that seed into your subconscious that you are not broke, that you are affluent, that you already have it, you're waiting for it to come to you, then you're going to see what starts happening around you. People will come around you more. Things will start going your way. But this all depends on you because the laws of, re of attraction require action. If you can say that, the laws of attraction require action. And it's because you have to act as though you already have received. That is the action. You have to believe and you have to act as, all, as though you have already received. So no more being broke. So now what do you do? You stop saying you're broke, but you're still in the same circumstance. You get distracted. You already have put your vibration out into the universe, your request up to God. You are depending upon source. Now this is what you do. Everything always works out for me. It always does. Everything always works out for me. It always does. I know my bills will be paid. I know my rent will be paid. I know I am not homeless. I know I will have a full belly tonight. I know someone will buy me a cup of coffee today. I know someone may give me a sandwich today. I know I may find $10 somewhere. I may find $20 somewhere. I am a winner. I attract money. I win money. I have a great magnet inside of me that attracts good people that are in the same vibration and the wavelength that I am. And that's the second most important thing is first is stop saying that you're broke. And I'll, let's say that this is number three, because number two is believing that you've already received it. But number three, surround yourself with positive people and things. Do not watch these documentaries. Do not watch the news of everyone clamoring to find a home. Do not watch these reality shows of not having any mo money. Do not watch these movies of not having any money because you're keeping yourself in that place. It's the same thing as I tell everyone when you are wanting to shed those pounds, stop watching the fat reality shows. It keeps you fat. Those broke reality shows keep you broke. So what happens? Well, things all of a sudden start working out for you. It's because you have to change. So how does that work? When you start changing your thought process, your affirmations, your vibration, your frequency, and you start getting on that higher level frequency, then you attract people and those people will be glad to help you. That's what it's all about. If you hang around the people that are broke, now you have a group of broke. And you know what is what broke is short for broken. And you are far from broken. I know many of you are go-getters out there. You'll work so hard 
for everything and more. You love your family, you love your friends, and especially you love yourself. And you're going to have to love yourself enough to realize that you've got to make change. And these changes are now you have to surround yourself with more powerful, and I mean that in a frequency and a vibration way, more powerful and more affluent and those people who aren't broke that complain all the time. Stop complaining and start doing. The laws of, a, of attraction require action. It is in your mindset and I want you to know something. There was a time that I hit a really, really bad part of my life. And I talked about this in a previous Laws of Attraction video where I made a mistake getting involved with the wrong person and the wrong people. And within a three month period of time, not only was I broke and hundreds of thousands of dollars stolen from me or taken from me by someone that I thought I loved, I became homeless. And instead of keeping myself there, I knew how it felt to have money. I knew how it felt to be affluent and I knew exactly what I needed to do and it was not beg and it was not to cry and plead. Of course I cried, but I cried and I got over it and I got up and I started doing because I knew that the laws of attraction require action. So I'm not sharing anything that I've not experienced. And what I did First of all, now this was back a few years ago when the secret movie first came out. I watched that over and over and over again. And I realized that this change that I needed was not going to come through anyone else because that was my first mistake. I believed that change was going to come through someone else and I was going to get the fallout. That I was going to put someone else on a pedestal and I was going to take the crumbs that they gave me in love and money and enthusiasm and work and opportunities and everything. Not only money, but in every situation. And I changed. When I started depending upon myself, and I want you to know there's nothing wrong with that. It is not selfish. People think, in this because you know we we are pounded in our minds about oh don't you do that that's selfish don't you do that don't you keep your money that's selfish you've you've got to do this you've got to do that that's selfish well you have to look after yourself first before you can help other people and that is biblical but the other thing of it is if you help so many other people and they're not in the right mind. I'll talk one of these days. And they're not in the right mindset. You're going to be ending up broke. And everyone around you is going to be affluent. And when it comes time for them to help you, where are they? No one is around. And that's what happened to me. I was such a giver that I gave until it hurt. You don't want to give until it hurts. That's not a lesson to learn because that gives you the wrong mindset. So change is inevitable. Change is something that you have to do. Why? Because when you change, everything around you has no choice but to change. Seriously, when you change, when you start looking after yourself, you will see your surroundings change. This is really a tough period. And for those of you who are li listening to this right now, I, I know that you're having a hard time. And in the times that we live in, it's a little easier for those times to be a little rougher. Most of you have families. Some of you are single parents. I get that. I was all that. But I'm also going to tell you that you can live abundantly and affluently 
and you can be that person to help your family and your friends. Change is the first thing you have to do. I'm going to say it's the first thing because when you change, you're no longer going to say you're broke. You're going to say that now you already have it and you're just waiting for it. And now you're going to distract yourself from those people that keep you down and downtrodden and those reminders that you're in a bad place. You have to step up and you have to walk around and say, everything always works out for me. It always does. Everyone wants what I have. I am affluent. I am happy. I am at peace. I pay my bills. I think you get it by now. You have to do that. I can't do it for you. If someone writes to me or if they get a reading with me and they say, Zelda, oh my gosh, I've done this and it doesn't work. Well, how long have you believed this? Oh, gee, I, I think I did it for a couple of days. You have to stick with this. The laws of attraction is a lifestyle. It is not a fad, but it is a fact. And the fact is that it is written and here for us because it works. Why do you think the rich get richer? It's because they know how it feels. Why do you think the poor get poorer? There's other elements and of course there's governments and so forth, but they also know how it feels. There's always that one person out of many that does not accept their current, current circumstances because they want more. And I know that that's you. So you can do this. I know you can. This isn't easy. But the more you do it, the easier it gets. And I will tell you, I climbed out of a horrible situation. And I'm here. And I'm here to tell you that it works. You do everything that you can to be positive. And believe me, something will spark on the inside of you that you'll know exactly what to do. In the meantime, go clean out your cabinets and your drawers and your closet and you get distracted from this broke mindset. Because when you do all this, you won't be broke for long. I want to thank you so much for listening. I wish you all the best. You are so wonderful for inviting me in to help you and to share this with you. Again, thank you to Psychic Secrets. I really appreciate you as well for giving us this platform. And you know, if this methods, if these things didn't work, I wouldn't be here to share with you. So I know you can do this. And thanks again for listening. And I'll see you again next time with Secrets, Laws of Attraction. Happy manifesting. Bye for now.